Hong Kong's property market has rocketed over the past 10 years, making the city the least affordable place to live in the world. But a rise in the city's base rate in lockstep with the interest rate rise from the US Federal Reserve means pressure on Hong Kong's house prices is starting to mount. For the first time since the financial crisis, global banks are boosting rates and that is being passed on to borrowers through their mortgages. Experts warn that Hong Kong's property sector could soon run out of steam. Residential property prices have more than doubled in Hong Kong over the past 10 years. Globally, the flood of cash generated by quantitative easing has spurred investors to hunt for returns, and property has been one of the main beneficiaries. But Hong Kong has also a dearth of supply due to the lack of space. Demand remains strong from both foreign and domestic buyers, which has sent prices soaring. Hong Kong's currency is pegged to the US dollar, and as a result, the city controls the value of its currency by closely following US rates but the rising base rate increases the cost of banks borrowing from the Hong Kong Monetary Authority. This can lead banks to increase the interest rate on borrowing from each other, called HIBOR. The rise in both the base rate and HIBOR then puts pressure on banks to hike the amount they charge customers on their mortgages and their loans. Analysts say local interest rates will continue to rise. Hong Kong is the city most at risk of forming a price bubble, according to UBS. But unlike property markets in other world cities, more than half of Hong Kong's residential properties do not have an outstanding mortgage. This is because mortgages are typically paid down within 15 years, so there is a faster rate of homes becoming mortgage-free than apartments coming to market with new mortgages. Not only that, but the typical size of a loan versus the value of the property is generally lower in Hong Kong versus other markets. This is because of rules imposed by Hong Kong in 2010 that limit homebuyers' ability to borrow. Still, investors will be watching for a continued drop in prices and whether this knocks sentiment among buyers.